So I've been thinking about adding kind of a stealthed out watch to the collection. I do have a couple already, but I want something new, something a little on the affordable side too. And one of the watches of the three that I have my eye on right now, thankfully, Jem Bijou had in stock and lent in for me to give a little test drive. The watch is the Yuto Horigami Limited Edition. This is a Seiko 5 Sports GMT Love the watch. It's got a cool color combination, and I really like the look of the blacked out Jubilee bracelet, too. If you're not familiar with Gem Bijou, they are an authorized dealer for Seiko and many other brands. I'll leave a link to where you can find them in the description below. So let's get to it and take a look at the watch. All right, now I've covered a couple of different Seiko 5 GMTs, mostly when they first came out here on the channel. So just a quick look today, but these watches are made this particular one is made to honor japanese skateboarder yuto horigami he was actually the first ever olympic gold medalist in a skateboarding event back in 2020 in tokyo this is the second collab between him and seiko with the first being the srpj 39 another stealthy seiko 5 with a camo dial pattern the dial on this one is a matte black with a bit of a shimmer, but I'd still call it matte. We have Seiko applied up near the 12 o'clock and the 5 logo printed below that. Then the automatic script and GMT in red down at the 6. So it's the typical dial setup for these here. And same goes for the handset with that red GMT hand matching the red GMT text. I'd kind of prefer if they didn't have the date magnifier. If I had the option, I'd do without it, but it's not a deal breaker for me either. The loom is, of course, good to go like it usually is with Seiko. Not quite up to the standard of some of the Prospects lineup, but it's still really good loom. The bezel uses an insert with blue and purple that goes from almost a black to a very vibrant blue and purple depending on the lighting situation. It's supposed to represent the Tokyo sunset. G-Shock has done some watches with really similar colors like this too that are meant to represent the same, which is kind of interesting. The bezel is a bi-directional friction bezel. No clicks here. And the bonus with that is no worries on alignment issues. As far as the feel of the bezel goes, it has a decent amount of resistance. So I don't think you're going to have an issue where you're going to knock that out of place accidentally. As far as setting the watch goes in the first position, I'll just pop the crown out here. Counterclockwise is going to adjust the date. Clockwise, the GMT hand. And if we pull the crown out to the next position, that's going to adjust just your regular hour and minute. The movement is the hacking and hand winding for our 34. It's visible through the display case back, and it's kind of hard to photograph, but Yuto's signatures on the crystal in gold. It's really thin, though, so it doesn't really obscure the visibility of the movement. One kind of neat thing with the watch is this is the first ever Seiko 5 GMT with a black coating. It looks awesome, I think, especially with the coated Jubilee bracelet. The finish looks good. I don't know what else to say about this case that hasn't already been said, but if you haven't tried one of these, they are very comfortable and conform great against the wrist. On paper, there's lots better out there when it comes to bracelets, but these Seiko Jubilees wear so well, especially with the combination of the bracelet and this case design. Just a simple stamped clasp here, although they do give us four micro adjusts. So once you get it sized up, it melts into your wrist. It's kind of a coincidence, but one of the other blacked out watches that I'm interested in also comes on a Jubilee bracelet, and it's a much better build quality than this one, but I will say it's not as comfortable. Should have that watch in soon, so keep an eye out for a video on that in a few weeks. I'll just quickly hit you with the numbers here, and we'll start with the case size, which comes in at a case width of 42.5 millimeters. 
The lug to lug is 46.1 millimeters. Lug opening is 22 millimeters and the thickness is 14.1 millimeters. The crystal is hard lex and the water resistance is 100 meters. And here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, and I think it looks pretty awesome to me. These watches are limited to 2,700 pieces, by the way, and are numbered on the case back. Price tag comes in at 525 USD or 695 here in Canadian dollars. And if you're looking for one, definitely check out gembiju.com. Thanks again to Gembiju for lending it in. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.